this is a finished birdhouse board all painted and ready to go this is what it looked like before I painted it after it dried out all winter and this is what they look like when they're freshly bought like these two this is me cutting up some of that uh, buckskin that I had dried out or rawhide I'm sorry rawhide I cut it up into thin thin strips and throw it into the water to soak and it turns into rubbery noodles and that's how I laced the drum skin onto the hoop which is what I'm doing right here To hold the edges flat, I just put a big old rubber band around there, actually two rubber bands, and left it on until it dried. Gotta say, this is one of the most beautiful projects I've ever made, but also, I have to say, one of the hardest. This was a broken rocking chair that my sister was gonna burn in the fire pile and I rescued it. I fixed it where it was busted, washed the seat, which had never been washed. It was laced and I just unlaced it and put it in the washer and it came out looking fantastic. There she is, it's a child's rocker going in the spare bedroom. Kind of fortunate this year, I've got a set of baby eagles that have been hanging out in my yard and uh, I've gone out several times to record them and I've made several videos of them hanging out in the trees and doing baby eagle stuff. This is a little set of uh, ferro rod and striper I made with that baby lathe. And for some reason I didn't have a picture of them with their uh, final coating on it, but there they are, sent off to a YouTube friend. And here we are, uh, imagine my surprise when I saw this on my game camera. An albino skunk. There's a bunch of babies that have been coming to the backyard, and here's two siblings. But there she is, or he, whichever it is. Everybody, as always, thanks for tuning in and watching. See you next time when I have more projects to show, which I'm working on them right as we speak. <laughs>